Haters, beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> Hi everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're roasting some haters go. Will it be naughty comments about my lifestyle? Will it be homophobia? Will it be anti-tattoo content? We never know. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. But let's just get straight on to roasting these people, human scum. <laughs> How do you not think demons exist while wearing a Baphomet necklace? Oh, love him, girls. LeMayo, be for real. He's literally a demonic god. I mean, going on your logic, I also have Homer Simpson coming out of a jack-in-the-box on my arm. I also don't think Homer Simpson is real. Yes, I am. I have Sonic the Hedgehog here on my arm. I don't actually think Sonic is real. Can you imagine ever that being an argument? Because you're wearing something, it has to be real. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Satan. Sad to see humanity has ended with people like you again. I am so glad that you think me as a person as, like, is so powerful that I have ended humanity. Do you know what? If I was that powerful, I'd be like, yeah, do you know what? We've had our time. We've been here for a long time. Time for something new, sis. The fact that you hold me in such high, like, powerful status is the best compliment you could ever say. <laughs> I'm gonna end the world, girls. I thought you were normal until I opened your account. It's always the blank profiles. It's always the blank profiles who don't post anything about themselves who want to comment on things like, oh, you're not normal. Oh, you look weird. Oh, you look like a beast. I am a bit beast. I am a beast. Boost. <laughs> but like, I don't understand how you could like, if, ha, ha, how? I'm never, ever, 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 ever in any way, shape or form gonna be offended by someone who's clearly so ugly that they were rejected from the hills of Icecast because they look too incest to be the monsters. Like, I'm never gonna be offended by someone like that. Let's just be honest, that's why you don't show your face. Oh, <laughs> this is in the folder. This isn't actually part of the thing. This is in the folder of something else. Da, 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 I'm on the cross. Shut up. <laughs> oh, play Tetris for Jesus. Genocide the gays. They think they're the good guys. <laughs> Wrong. You're illegally bold. Oh, God, have you got your bold license? Go, where's your bold license? Oh, jail, jail! You're a disgusting criminal, aren't you? Don't drop the soap! So, so this was on threads and I was calling out someone being hateful and this person agrees with me, but they don't like that they agree with me because they've said, I'm not being represented by a fellow who makes reaction videos. The lowest effort of all media, effing hell. Well, if it's so easy, why don't you do it? He then went on to say, looks like you're the victim of Poe's law, which I'd happily apologize for until I realized how low energy your reaction videos were. Good threads engagement. What do you mean? Imagine for one second watching any of my videos, or for, even if I, even the ones I repurpose for like TikToks and reels and stuff. Imagine watching any of them and saying that I'm low energy. If I was any higher energy, the camera would catch fire. Like, what is. Oh, yes, that, um, that comment was quite funny. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was funny when she said that. Yeah. Um, gout. Oh, I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, everyone. Lol. This is so boring. I don't know what this guy considers high energy, but it definitely isn't that. So this is in response to me responding to a homophobic person. Bruh, it's not a joke. Your entire page is just full of your gayness, which is really, really stupid as hell. Like, congratulations, you're gay. You want a effing parade in your honor. Oh, wait, never mind. We already forced to let y'all have one. Oh my God. Can you imagine that this comment is only like, 21 minutes, I found this 21 minutes ago, 21 minutes ago, people are still saying shit like this. But also what's really stupid about the whole situation is that, oh, your page is full of gayness. If you actually go on to my Instagram page, this is on Instagram. If you actually go onto my Instagram page, most of the stuff that I talk about on my Instagram page is either shorts that I've made from like YouTube comments or YouTube content that I make onto 
Instagram or me just like posting about how I've got new tattoo work done. I rarely actually make like LGBT content on my Instagram. And most things I don't really do much anymore. Literally, it's just, I'm full of my gayness. They're just saying, you just existing is too much. Like this, this is essentially what they're saying, that my existence is too much. These people are so <laughs> unwell, like so unwell. You make me sick. Being offended by your Jesus jokes, we don't need to get a grip. Like you have an opinion, you call homophobia rightly, but we can't call out blasphemy. Come on, I just end the video when you start Jesus jokes. You have your beliefs and others have theirs. Homosexuality is not a belief. Homosexuality is not something that I woke up one day and got a book and was like, Gay! Well, I wish you'd do it more quietly. The religious people here are the ones who, the, I'm not saying all religious people, but like as a whole, all the hatred I get for me just existing as a person is from religious people. The whole concept of homophobia and transphobia is all, is all basically rooted in religion. Like most of the world is homophobic because people from England years ago took the Bible and the word of God across the world and made so many places like really, really homophobic. It's just another example of Christians trying to make themselves out to be this like sh shamed minority that just can't have, like, no, it's all of you guys that also in America are still in power trying to take away rights from people like me. It is not the same. The idea that you could even con contemplate even saying, me saying squat for Jesus at the end of my video is comparison to someone coming up to me and saying, you should die and burn in hell. How those two things are the same, I will never understand, but that is exactly what you have just said with that tweet. It's not the same. But also, all I'm saying is squat for Jesus. Can you stop? These fragile, just get a grip. And your body looks like a six year old coloring book. It's a very advanced child to color. Oh, wow. what a very talented child. So I don't have to all constantly give context to every single one of these comments that people are applying to. But a lot of these are essentially on Instagram. If I see something homophobic or really, a lot of it's transphobia, cause you know, a lot of shit's going on at the moment. So sometimes I'm calling people out and calling them like idiots or like trying to, you know, actually critiquing what they're saying. So a lot of these people are responding to my comments and other like, other intensely far right people. Says the dude who's spewing propaganda at little kids telling them to chop their cocks off. What's wrong with you? <laughs> when have I ever said that? When have I ever gone, kids, kids, go and chop it, chop it off. When have I ever said that? It just goes to show that these people have absolutely no idea what it's actually like to be trans and also what trans surgeries look like because they, do, like, if we're actually gonna talk about, you know, creating a vagina from a penis, whatever, they don't just like chop it off. My turn. Ow. They genuinely believe that they just like pull, lift, lift up your, your jennies and then just like get a knife and just cut it off and it's like, bye. That's not, that's not how it works in the slightest. Oh, also they, they had to add on this, yo, what's wrong with society? Oh yes, another blank profile who's too scared to show themselves. Trust me, you're going to be what's wrong with the, the wrong society. We walk out and we see you and we're like, ah, Satan is real. And they're so, they're so obsessed with like genitalia of young people. It's weird. It's so weird. I swear, check these guys' hard drives. Check their hard drives drives. You cry when you get called a woman instead of a guy. I have absolutely no issue with being called a woman. If someone wants to look at me and go, that's a woman, I'd be like, odd choice, but sure. I'm a woman. Like, I, there's nothing wrong with being a woman. And I have no worries if someone says she, her for me, or even they, them. Like, I, I call me whatever pronoun you want. I really don't care. But I am a, a cis man. I think, honestly, uh, I don't know if it's because some of my friends are trans, but I think sometimes people actually think that I'm like a trans man and don't think that I'm a cis man. I'm just kind of like pulling ideas out of my ass because like, I don't understand why you would say that to me because I, why would I be upset if someone calls me a woman? Like it doesn't happen as much now, but sometimes maybe people say like, what pronouns do you go by? If anyone wants like, you can call me whatever the fuck you want. I genuinely do not care. Shut up. You have a mental illness. The only illness around here is your existence, sis. You ready for a nonsensical rant by some weird old man? <sighs> Again, call, this is me calling out some homophobe. It's not for nothing, G. Though, is it? If you want to dress and act like a twat, you'll be treated like one. Oh, don't talk to me like that. Don't call them, say, you know how to get into my knickers. You'll be treated like one. The time you wake up and stop being snowflakes, 10 years ago, this thing would have been mentally sick. Can we just stop there? 10 years ago, being LGBT was mentally sick. I don't know why you think 10 years ago was like 1950. 
10 years ago, in 2014, we were well and truly past queer people being known as sick. We were well past that. I don't know what decade you think you're living in, sis. But now it's what all right to be a man, but play make up this person. But play make up, get the F out of here. It's wrong. And as soon as they stop playing makeup and dress up, the better place this world will be. Well, you clearly didn't pass your English exam. Me fail English? That's unpossible. It's just the idea that someone would say in de a decade ago, 10 years ago, that like just a man in makeup would have been considered mentally sick. And did you forget about the 80s? The 80s was all about androgyny and like men wearing makeup and just being like very forlorn thing and very like flamboyant on stage. And not even gay people, just men in general, like just men in general, very flamboyant, very camp, very what we would consider now in sort of this day and age to be a bit fruit, say. It doesn't matter. He's old though. So, you know. You're nearly dead. God gave you free will and man-made cancer. <laughs> Hence why kids get can get it. Where do most cancers come from? Smoking, eating, processed food, and it's also genetic. So even if you're healthy, your parents might not have been, and it can pass down. Hence again, how kids can get it. Common sense. Imagine saying that, I'm saying common sense at the end. Cancer is man-made, so therefore that's why kids get it. Me, so this is actually a response to me and Luxaria asking about why um, they think praying will get rid of cancer because if God made, you know, if God creates everything, God would have created cancer, so why are kids getting it? And just saying pray for it is not going to get rid of it. So this person's replying to that. But also, that still doesn't explain all the other things that ki little children get that are awful, like those bugs that burrow into the eyes and make them blind. That has nothing to do with humans. That, should, that was how evolution happened and these bugs just created. We didn't create them. There are many, many different things in the world that happen to young, young children that they have no input over, that has no free will. So even, your, if, even if I took your comment as like fact, there are still many things that attack young children that have absolutely nothing to do with free will. Like it's not their fault. So God would have done that. God would have created these bugs that eat the, through the eyes of children. Like that's a thing that happens. God gave us free will and man made cancer. No, we didn't make cancer. Imagine saying all that though and then saying common sense. I can't take this anymore. Someone get me a gun. These are the kind of people that are like the ones who are the right ones. These are the what these people think they're on the right, right side of history. Just outright just saying I'm gonna murder you. Like, these are the people that are on the right side of history, apparently. The likes of you are the problem in the world, you fruit. <laughs> Imagine actually calling someone a fruit. That is such an old, old, like, homophobic term. This guy's a fruit. Even when I was in school, calling someone with, like a fruit was actually quite an outdated term. Like when I was in school, it was like batty boy or like bender or puff or something, but never fruit. Fruit is like what my uncle, so I have a gay uncle, but fruit is what he would have been called in school. When he was in school in like the seventies, he would have been called things like the fruit. To be the idea that I was being, I'm being called a fruit in 2020, a fruit. Um, that's not offensive in any way, shape or form. I'm what's wonderful with the world. A lot of the stuff that you see around you was created by queer people. Like so much like movies, performances, like art, all this stuff. Just we, the media industry, like so much of it was created and run by queer people. The fact that you're on a computer now invented by Alan Turing a gay person uh, who helped us win the Second World War. The, most of the things that you're using now is all from queer peoples. Look at the state of you, you helmet! <laughs> helmet? <laughs> helmet, this is my helmet. Oh my God, I'm a crash test dummy girl. That's not a dummy. What? Helmet? What is even that a helmet? What a weird insult. Helmet? You look like Jeff Bezos if he had bacterial fashion noses. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I mean, I wish I had some of Je Jeff Bezos' money. That would've been fun. I mean, there's definitely one of those interesting comments that I actually quite enjoy. If we if we still did like the Hater of the Year award, this would use the one that made me laugh the most. You are a cancer to society. Well, thank you, Danny211089. Mm. Yes, it's always one of the numbers on the end of the things that happens to be the most hateful. I can't stand people like you who have their heads so far up their own ass. How do I have my head so far up my own ass? Again, this is the, the, the funny thing about all of these comments is that they're just 
she like commented on like the most non non abusive things ever. like it's just me existing like not even addressing anyone it's just me existing and people get so irate that I just exist that they have to say things like this I'm not, I don't understand what why it's one of these things that the people see confident people and they get threatened by it because they're really insecure themselves so they lash out and stuff like this because they just wish that they had like an ounce of confidence that like I have or like other queer people have just existing especially like androgynous and like more gender gender fluidy uh, people who, you know, really go against the norm. They see people like us or like you, whatever. And I, I don't really consider myself very androgynous at all. Like, I, I feel like I, I, I look like a man. I'd make a very ugly woman. Your faces Ugh. offend my mirror. I'm not even that far down in the androgynous camp, but I think they see a lot of these sort of like more queer flamboyant people and they're really affronted because all of a sudden they're having to address their own insecurities that they say things like this. Like, me just existing and actually being confident doesn't make me arrogant or stuck up. I am in no way arrogant or stuck up at all. I think it just says a lot about you and how you feel about yourself than it does about me. State of you, mate. You make it too easy. You make it too easy. Look at your tattoos. Seek help. The funny thing, I d that again, this is one of those things that I will never understand why people think that they can just like insult my tattoos and think that I'm going to be upset about it. Like this is the permanent choice that I've made on my body that I absolutely love and adore. Like I'm not going to suddenly be like, oh, random blank profile doesn't like my tattoo. I need help. It's not fair. I don't understand because if you actually want to critique this right, I'm, we'll take Simpsons for example, because I think it's very evident for anyone who watches my stuff how much I love and adore The Simpsons. Like, I love The Simpsons to death. Like, it's one of my most treasured things in my entire life. So, I have Simpsons stuff like tattooed on my arm. So why you think <clears throat> I'm gonna be upset or like, look at my tattoos, seek help? But like, this is what I love. I'd understand if it was like hate symbols and really hateful things on my arms and stuff or like serial killers or something. It's just like fun cartoons that I grew up on that I absolutely love. Why would that mean I need to seek help? This is the kind of person who's probably got like a 2000s tribal on the arm and then a line, a clock and a rose on the other. So a music page I followed was suddenly posting this video of these guys like speeding down a, like a speeding down the highway in a car, really dangerously skidding and driving. But they posted it because it just happened to play the style of music that the page promoting. And so I just commented on this video being like, maybe don't promote dangerous behavior because these people were like gonna kill someone. And someone's replied, Bro, look at yourself. No hate, but you're really not a role model neither. Every normal thinking human will try this since that'll be pressing the off button. First of all, what the hell are you talking about? Second though, I love that you're comparing these people who I were well, probably inebriated to be honest, were driving down like a, just a, a regular street and speeding, skidding, clearly dangerously driving, really have an issue that they could kill themselves or kill other people. And you've gone, I'm not a role model, e model either. You've compared me just existing as a human being to actively someone breaking the law and risking people's lives. Are you, what the hell is wrong with you? Imagine being that hateful. Imagine being that rotten, your brain is that rotten that you just see someone existing as a human and equate it to dangerous driving, risking people's lives. Like, these people are unsavable. So this person I was really confused about because these this person's been in my like community for a long time. And for some weird reason, he suddenly went on this huge rant against my housemate and then like had a go at me because I said that Callum lives with me and I've had a wonderful time living with him over the years. And this person replies, like you've actually had a roommate for the last five years. Have I just fabricated his existence for five years? Why not? Why not? What are you talking about? Fabricate, I've just, yes, I, guys, I need to tell you the truth. I've actually lived on my own for five years. Callum has never lived here. I don't know who, who is, who is that? I don't know who it is. This person went on like this huge ass rant about him and then was DMing Callum these really weird messages. I was like, have you just had like a breakdown or something? It was really strange. As if you've had a housemate for the last five years. I, I, what? What? Deranged. Creep. Every accusation is an admittance of guilt. She's completely guilty. Projection. I bet you trust Biden though, you lesbian looking F. Do you know what I have found recently, especially because like the elections coming up in America, if I go on any page or anything and I critique something that's going on or I'm talking about something, this was, this was commenting about uh, conspiracy theories. I merely just said, this is insane that people think the earth is flat. Something about Americans is, and I'm not, I know I seem to slag off Americans a lot. Like I know it's not all of you. Like the people who watch my channel clearly aren't gonna be like this because you wouldn't watch me if you were. I find it interesting because so many of these people just think that America is like the world. And like, I have no investment in Joe Biden at all because it doesn't like I'm 
in the UK. I care about my prime minister and my government about what I want in my country, like for what's gonna rule us. Yes, world politics do like change everything over like the course of time in other countries as well. But like, I bet you trust Biden though, you lesbian looking at, first of all, again, lesbian. I think people, honestly, I think people think I'm either like a lesbian woman, like a butch woman or a trans man. There's a very common theme coming up recently. You're a woman. It's, I bet you trust Biden. What does, what does Biden have to do with anything in my life? Why, why Biden? Why Biden? I don't understand. Why Biden? Joe Biden has absolutely nothing to do with me and my existence. If you ask me, do I pick between Joe Biden and Donald Trump? I don't like either of them, but I would pick Joe Biden. But like, that's like, what? America is not the world. Oh my God. So I don't know if you saw, there was Donald Trump was like selling these like shoes uh, at one of his rallies. I can't remember, it was, like, it was like a shoe con or something. I don't know. There's like in America, Donald Trump was selling these really disgusting like shoes. It was like the Trump shoes. And this guy paid like $9,000 for them. It was insane. So of course I just was like, oh, you're saying you're not in a cult when you buy these like Donald Trump shoes for 9,000, whatever. And someone's replied to me saying, oh, someone's jealous. Imagine looking at me and thinking that I want Donald Trump shoes. Donald Trump, Donald Trump shoes. Unhinged. Ah, your American makes sense. Why? How? How? How on earth did you look at me? Go on to my Instagram, whatever, because you you could never just like assume someone's American just by an icon and a name. Like if you're doing that, then you're unwell. So I assume would have, at least would have thought this person's probably gone onto my profile. How on earth do I sound American? Shut up. What are you gonna do? You can't do anything about it, so why moan? <laughs> you. How on earth do I do anything? How, how do you look at me, watch some of my little reels or something, and look, or even just my photos and go, yes, that person's clearly American. Are you blind? That thing is suffering. Suffering from fabulous, yes! You're a jobless virgin. What? What are you? I'm a jobless virgin now, apparently. You're a virgin who can't drive. This is one of those things that feels very outdated that like you see social media, people doing social media and still think it's like not a real job. Influencers and like social media people have been around now for long enough for it to be like actually seen as a job. The idea that people are still saying it's not a job. It's like, well, what are you doing? Also, I've blanked out their profile photo because they've used their child as their profile photo. I feel like there's something really sinister and actually quite sick about commenting rude and obnoxious and evil things on other people's profiles. Because it's not just this person. I see it quite a lot, especially on Facebook. There is nothing more disgusting than having your own children as your profile photo and then spreading hate on other people's pages. Like, there's something really sinister about that. And, you know, you guys want to be like, protect the children, yet your child's face is plastered everywhere with, like, hateful messages. Like, that's really sick. Also, virgin. Imagine, 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 like, what? Why, what? How, how would you have any, what? Slag. I am actually a virgin. I'm the Virgin Mary. So this was also posted about the music saying this thing was a bad example. And this other person said, and the last time you reviewed your post was when? I refer to you to the incestuous tattoo of the Simpsons for one. First of all, again, I still can't believe that you're you're looking at my profile and going, this is the same as people risking people's lives. But the, what's funny is this person has actively then gone onto my profile, scrolled down to look at what I was posting, saw that I posted a tattoo fail of the Bar there was a person who like tattooed Bart and Simpson, Bart Simpson and Lisa like doing it, and it was really disgusting. And of course, in this video, I repurposed it from YouTube, posted it on Instagram Reels, and said, This is disgusting. I don't know why anyone would want this. And so You've gone onto my page and gone, I'm posting these photos. But clearly, they didn't even like click on it to go like, well, what is this video? So like, I was like, well, if you spend enough time to scroll back that far on my page for the first time, then maybe you should actually watch that video so you don't embarrass yourself. You clearly, <laughs> you clearly see how I'm calling it out for what it was. Disgusting. So I found this one very interesting. Fine. So I posted uh, the graphic image of like that sort of like penis tattoo having sex with the vagina and then the poo was coming out and stuff on my Instagram reels. You can go watch it if you want. It wasn't a video, but it was heavily censored. And so I posted the uncensored version on my Instagram and someone's commented, finally, something not censored and it's not and it's just a cartoon drawing, not even real. I'm so tired of all the PC M-O-N-G-S. I can't say that. The Internet is filled with. 
I don't censor things in my videos because I'm trying to be PC. I censor it because I have to. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all of these things have rules. Some of them are way harsh than what they should be. My last video got demonetized because of a stupid, stupid tattoo that someone had on their forehead and I didn't censor it. And I was like, do you know what? Let's just try and leave it up. It was a job summer tattoo and it was the most ridiculous cartoon looking penis on their head. It was so badly done. It wasn't good at all. It was really bad. And I was like, do you know what? This is so ungraphic. I'm sure I could keep this in got demonetized. You bitch! I'm not censoring things because I'm trying to be PC. I don't know how you can watch me as a person and think that I'm like the most PC person because clearly I'm not. You don't pay attention if you think I'm like the most PC person. Bro has to encourage other people doing unnecessary surgery so that he can keep putting weird lenses on his eyes. I have to convince trans people to transition so that it makes it okay for me to wear contact lenses. The reaching that people do to connect connect unrelated things just to try to make a point and even if you're trying to make the point that you've just made your point doesn't make any sense if like say i was doing that it wouldn't make any sense like what does like take my friend my best friend luxera for example me congratulating her on the success that she has and you know she's transitioned and all this stuff blah blah like i'm only doing that because i want to wear contact lenses even though i've been wearing contact lenses for like what 15 years at this point? Like, what? Please, if you're gonna come for me, like, it makes sense. Make what you're- make it make sense. So, this wasn't even commented to me. I just saw this on Twitter, and I just need to put it into a video. If you don't like racism, get out of my C-U-N-T tree. So, I'm gonna say country, but they've said it, like, you know, a naughty way. So, you're admitting that this country is racist. Nice one, pal. Racist to be British these days. I know this wasn't directed towards me at all, but I just, I saw it the other day and I was like, I need to put this in a video somehow. Imagine saying that. Unwell. Isn't it sickening? It's racist to be British these days. But also, you're, you're saying that British people are just white then. To be British doesn't mean you have to be white. Like, there are many British people who are not white. These people are getting so bold these days. They get, they're getting so bold. Like, not even just like mask off anymore. It's like entire face skin off. Like, it, it's just, they're just bones. Like, it's, it's just bones! It's no, it, they're fully just like, I can't. This is the most Gen Z person alive. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of a compliment that you think I'm young enough to be a Gen Z. <laughs> I'm 33. I'm like a middle millennial. Jesus Christ. The idea, oh, he's a Gen Z. To be fair, though, like, I don't know. I, I find that a bit of an odd thing to say because actually my teenage, like my like early teenage years to year, like which would have been the start of Gen Z. All that's back in fashion now. The the style, trends, even music is coming very Euro dancey. Sort of there's lots of like old retro vibes coming into music these days. Way people are dressing. Like it's, it's, it's even I'm wearing like trousers I wore when I was younger. I wear like combat trousers. <laughs> like or my the fashion that I grew up on is all back. So like you're saying I'm the most Gen Z person alive, but like this is technically what I used to wear when I was younger. So I'm still millennial. I just don't know how you, again, I don't know how you would look at me and think I'm a Gen Z. I feel like I look old and like, I look a bit old for a Gen Z. Do I not? The Botox is working girls. I'm moving it right now. Oh my. <laughs> what a joke from a real man. The fact that you don't have a profile photo says everything I need to know about what it must be like to be a real man. Mm, yes, the thing is calling. Again, this whole thing about like fragile men being like real men, real man. What is it to be a real man? The, again, it's so strange because you're merely basing that on the current society's like idea because you go back in history and we're just going to talk about men here. Men and what men did and what men do and what men look like and how they present themselves has changed astronomically over the past like hundred years. Edge! <laughs> Where's my wig? And it goes even weirder. The further back you go, the more like obscure and bizarre it seems that men and even just people in general would dress these certain way. Like, it's so weird that you would. So this is from a real man. A hundred years ago, you would not have been considered a real man. People would have been like, oh, what is he doing? And in a hundred years time, they're going to look back at you. If you, if you as a person existed a hundred years later, people in that society would look at you and go, Oh, uh, what are you doing? Because things change. So this idea of going from a real man, it's all made up bollocks. It's all a load of fucking shit. I don't understand how how you how you think that what we're doing right now 
is the be all and end all and the correct way to exist as a human being. Like, it's just so weird. This is about my tattoos. You went from zero to a hundred in such a short amount of time. I hope you don't regret it later. Right, guys, please, please, right, I'm, I don't wanna have to keep telling you this. I don't wanna have to keep telling you this. You don't need to worry about me and my tattoos. I am a 33-year-old man who have made the decision as a fully-fledged adult. My brain is fully developed. Everything in my life was going great. And I've finally been the chance to be able to do what I wanted to do. If I started getting these tattoos, you know, 10 years ago when I was younger, and I did it over the space of time, I would look exactly the same now. Yes, some of the artwork might look a bit different because I would have had to go with someone else, you know, 10 years ago. I would be as covered as I am now. I'm just doing it in succession because I want it to age at the same time as close as possible. Can you please stop worrying about this because uh, it's really patronizing. I'm a 33 year old man. I'm not a 19 year old getting tattooed for the first time who suddenly gets all of this work because if I was, I would understand maybe the hesitation of the speed you're going at. Everything is quite clearly meticulously planned. It's not just random stuff. And if you knew me and you knew enough about me by watching my content, you don't even need to know me personally to understand the things I have on me are clearly things that I love and adore. You, it's so evident, like it's so evident if you've just been watching me for a little bit. Like the fact that you know that I went from zero to a hundred in a short amount of time shows to me that you've at least been somewhat invested in my content to even know that. Because if you're a new person, you wouldn't have any idea unless you went back and watched loads of old content. And I've seen a lot more about, a lot more kind of like this recently. And I want to squ squ squash, squash this now. It's it's not a concern that you guys need to have. The trans society have been crying a victim a long time. It's not crying victim victim if the person is actually a victim. I mean, queer people have been for a long, long time, but trans people seem to be on the chopping board at the moment. Mr. Dildo Baggins here is the kind of person that would follow Britain's first and be like, Oh, get him out, we voted blame! This is my country! Shut it, scam! Like, just because they fell out of a fucking vagina, you know, 30 years ago, and they think they own the country. Being born in a country doesn't mean that you own the country. Like, a lot of these people who are like that as well, as like, they don't actually contribute any to anything to society. Like, a lot of them are just, like, really scummy people who just, like, start fights with people who are just, like, awful, awful people. Don't bring anything to society who love to claim that this is my country. Like, we'd probably be better without you, sis. Do you get internet also, or just cable? Are we really going on about piercings? Like talking, this person's replying because of piercing stuff. Are you really, are you, are we honestly still making these that? Oh, do you get radio signals with all that metal? Are we still there? Are we actually still there? Like again, it's just the same recycled jokes over and over again. They cannot think of anything else. If you could actually say to me, like the whole, you look like Jeff Bezos if he had vaginal dosmosis or whatever it was now on top of my head. Like that's funny. Like just please just come up with something actually funny because I, I, I would, it's, I, I, I want to laugh. This is just lazy. This feels like you have done this before too many times and it's all time from the same direction? Why can't you do something that doesn't feel like you've we've, you've seen it 1000 times before? So I know this isn't technically like a hate comment as such. I mean, the tone is very pointed, but what I find very interesting about this, I've been doing YouTube for 17 years now and I've been doing it full time for six. Everything that I do on my channel is to make sure that I can keep surviving, make money, earn. Of course, I want to entertain. I love doing this as well. But of course, because this is my full-time career and job, I have to do, I have to make decisions and do things that will, of course, keep me afloat. I can't just like post random shit of stuff that no one cares about. If I made every single video that I wanted about every topic that I wanted to, my channel would just die because, I mean, that's why I've got a second channel. If you didn't know, I have a second channel called Extra Roly where I post random stuff on us, a lot more vloggy. It's a lot more sort of like lifestyle. Like if you want to go follow that, wonderful. But I know that like that channel is a bit more random and a little bit more what YouTube was like back in the early days. This channel, I have to do things that of course go into my niche, things that I'm interested in that actually is going to be fun for you to watch. So everything I do on this channel, if I do something over and over again, there's clearly a reason why I'm doing that because it works. And sometimes I experiment with new content, but if it doesn't come back, there's a reason why it doesn't come back. Hence why, if you've been watching me for a while, I no longer do queer cooking. I used to do queer cooking, but I did cooking stuff on my channel, but it just became not viable. The views weren't there. I wasn't making any money from it. And all the time and effort it was taking to make and edit and everything was taking up way too much time. So I don't do them anymore. This is my full-time career. So if I'm doing something, over and over again, and I keep doing it, 
clearly there's going to be a reason why I'm doing it. This is what a lot of people, a lot of industries, a lot of businesses really mess themselves up on because they try to fix something that isn't broken. And so many times, so many platforms end up messing themselves up because they decided they wanted to add all this extra shit on it when there was no need to do it to begin with. You would expect this to be commented on a piercing video because that is what I do the most out of anything on my channel. It's what I've been doing the longest and it's what gets me the most views and everything. But you would expect this on a piercing video, but this was actually on a Reddit video. The one thing that I do the least amount of on my channel. Out of anything I do, Reddit reactions and Reddit things is the least done content. So you're, you're commenting this on a, on a Reddit video, which I do the least of, but not on the piercing one, which is what I do the most. I find that so weird. You're the one that needs saving. You look fresh out of a psychiatric ward. If I've just come out of the psychiatric ward, that normally means that you are on the right path. So technically you would have been saved. So what you've just said doesn't really make sense. Also, if we're actually gonna delve more into your comment, the idea that you can look up, look at someone and instantly think that they have some sort of like psychiatric problems is ridiculous because mental health affects everyone in the entire world of spectrums of whatever you are in your life, whatever kind of community you're part of, like there's always going to be some kind of uh, people in, in those communities who've got mental health issues and it has nothing to do with like how you look. So you look at me and say I've got psychiatric problems. When in, in reality, I feel like I'm actually quite well adjusted as an adult, especially considering the shit that I went through as a child. But also there's nothing wrong with needing psychiatric help. Like using, using mental health as like some kind of like attack and belittler is sick because people don't just choose. I mean, sometimes you can get drug onset, you know, mental health problems. But even then it's like, well, why was a person taking drugs to begin with? A lot of people turn to drugs because of like other issues. And I'm taking this comment way too literal, but like using the whole psychiatric problems, like most people who've got some kind of like mental health issues, it all comes from like not a choice in any way, shape or form. I didn't choose to have quite anxiety driven food aversion due to past trauma that was put on me by the society that I lived in, the people that were around me at the time and the situations I went into, that was not a choice. So to belittle someone for like psychiatric problems, now I've got other things, I've got other neuro neurodivergent things. None of it was my fault. I was just born like this or society at the time that I grew up in, which is the most impressionable time in your life, affected me and left me with trauma in ways that had nothing to do with me. So to belittle someone for things they can't control is really sick, blank profile, too scared to show their face. Coward, coward. I'm, it's funny because I'm someone who have been doing this a long time that my skin is like basically leather at this point. It's like, it's so thick. I don't like, I don't give a shit what IP.013 says about me. Who the hell are they? I'm living my dream. I love my career. I've got wonderful friends in my life. I'm in the best place I've ever been in mentally, physically, like my, I'm, you know, health wise, I'm in the best place I've ever been. My, my life is, I'm really happy with how my life is going and the trajectory that I'm going in. So this person trying to insult me or people in general like this, like, and I've been doing this a long time that I'm used to this kind of content. So it doesn't affect me. Um, but it does make me sad to think that there are going to be some people like if this is the kind of stuff that was said to me back when I first started YouTube, it would have crippled me. And I just, it just makes me sad that, you know, some people really have to deal with this when they're not mentally as strong. Um, or like have the kind of mental barrier that I have like in this to do a job like this full time, you do have to be quite, I guess, a bit cold to some of it. I think you really have to have like this sort of front barrier that it doesn't penetrate because once they know that they get you or penetrate you through that, oh, stop penetrating me. You are disgusting. Like once they know that they've like broke through the shell is when they'll just go all in. Like don't let them do that. There's nothing I find more satisfying than like these people just like, me just existing is causing these people so much like rage that they, like, that you know that they're sitting home being like, oh, oh, how, uh. but like, I just reply laughing or something. Like, I don't take anything to say seriously, but there is, there's some, there's something real, really powerful to know that you just merely existing is causing someone else like this, a hateful asshole to be just full of rage. I honestly, I, I live for that. I'm like, yeah, you keep coming at me, bitch, because it, get that cortisol running through your body and it'll age you out of existence, like quicker than, quick, quickly as possible. Like get that cortisol, girl. So yeah, I don't, it just like, but just know that if you are watching these videos, the reason I do these is because I really want you to see that it's really not that serious. What, what random people on the internet think about you is totally irrelevant to you as a person. Like it's 100% about, about them than it is about you. 
obviously, if you're doing problematic things, there might be some validity to some things people are saying, but the majority of people saying things like, you need saving, you look like you're fresh out of a psychiatric ward. Like, that's just, just people just trying to be horrible. She's horrible. It's not that serious. Don't take it to heart and truly just keep on being yourself because there's nothing more powerful than knowing that someone who doesn't know you is so obsessed with you. Shut the F up, you piercing covered greb. I've not heard that in ages. Is that a word you can say? I don't even know. Can you even say that anymore? I don't know. There's so many like old time, old timey words that people used to say back in the day that now would be completely un PC. I don't know if this is if this is part of that though. I don't know. I've never heard that in a long time. Get that right gauge, bro. You look like a tackle box, big homer. What? If you're going to come for someone about like a specific thing that they've posted, at least look at the thing that they've posted before commenting about it. Ludicrous. <laughs> I bet you hate strong magnets. Actually, no, I don't. Are, are we still, are we still, it's just, again, one joke. Just one joke, get a new one. One joke is not funny, one joke. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bye. Oh, squat for Jesus. Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Oh, Jesus loved to go in the Tetris. Da, 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 Praise Jesus. Squat for Jesus. He likes a good peach. Get raw dogged on the last supper table. Do, 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 do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I, again, I absolutely love making these hate comment videos. I unfortunately don't get much hate comments anymore, but, um, you know, at one point it was like constant, like a barragement, but I guess like people eventually they stop and get bored. But I mean, a lot of it is kind of at the times as well. I get a lot of less hate now because I think people are a little bit more accepting. You know, when, when I was making these like every single month, like five, six years ago, of course, I think people are a little bit less, I guess, triggered by more intense people. I know when I make these, people are insane. But like, remember, I used to get like hundreds of these a day, hundreds. Now it's quite rare to get them. So you know, I think times are changing, even though sometimes people on social media can be a bit loud. Things are getting better in some ways. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure you hit the like button. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. If you're still watching this video now, comment down below, you helmet, so I know that you're still here. Anyway, <laughs> a massive shout out. <laughs> to today's Twitch shout out. And that is XL Boy. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. If you would like to be in the chance next Twitch shout out, come follow me over on Twitch. It's Rolly West over there. We do lots of fun gaming and reactions. I'm actually doing some uh, Dark Souls today. So we're gonna play some Dark Souls after I finish, finish filming. Uh, so yeah, come follow me on uh, Twitch. And yes, all my links are down below, all the fun stuff. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons, whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being Patreons. I love you all. And an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons, Kelly Rose, Nova, Riot Loves, Rory, Cameron Pittman, Rishi, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, Aya, Robin Scott Palmer, Bethard, Steph Utech, Caitlin Wright, Chloe Louise, Shell Herman, and Kelly Bowser. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are mwah, delicious wishy. Anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch other tell you you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are going to end the world with your existence.